have, I thought I would bring this along on a journey to Wales, well, in particular Cardiff, aka City of Dreams. As usual, I've given myself just enough time to miss my train by one minute. So the next hour is going to be horrifically stressful. <laughs> good news is that local business is absolutely thriving on the high street. Main observation so far, everyone looks like they've eaten slightly too much meat. Alcoholics on the street count, quite, quite high numbers I'd say on the high street, quite high numbers. This is what it looked like in Wales before the Welsh came. I can't tell if that's supposed to be flying or that eagle is about to drop off. Here we have a skeleton of an early Welsh man. This is the perfect place to come to learn how to speak Welsh. Craigin de Faf Pryden Dynig. What could it mean? Most of you have got it right. It's British by valve seashells. You still a motto, Dan, figure the ad is bats under threat. And now for a history of Wales. In the beginning, there were rocks, big rocks, small rocks, red rocks, grey rocks, rocks of animals in, rocks. There are enough rocks in this museum to build a whole other museum, and then you could put more rocks in that. Prehistoric pork pie. Then all of a sudden, the rocks got jazzy. After the rocks, the dinosaurs came, and judging by the sound effects here, they made a lot of noise. Holy sh... Holy shit! The high street has barely changed. Then they moulded the rocks from the olden days into porcelain. And that is the history of Wales. Fantastic museum. Well done, Wales. Rocks, dinosaurs, pots. What more could you want? I'm going home. <laughs>